Creating challenging and engaging AI is one thing, but giving them life is another. Balancing these aspects in Ready or Not is key to crafting memorable encounters that'll have you coming back again, and again, and again. For the last few months, we've been hard at work breathing some much needed life into some of our AI characters. For this development update, we're ready to show off just a small slice of them. Suspect melee combat for both knives and fists has been revamped. Previously they would charge at and hit the player, but without the next move in mind, leaving them exposed. To improve on this, they now have more tactics under their belt to keep you guessing. After attacking the player and stunning them, suspects will stop and run to find cover for their next ambush attack. Suspects also take advantage of much better unarmed to armed behaviors, using a tiered decision system so that they always choose the most optimal action. If SWAT are closer to a suspect than a weapon, the suspect will melee them first to stun them, and then move to pick up the weapon and engage. If a weapon is closer to a suspect than SWAT, the suspect will move to pick up the weapon first and engage. If both SWAT and the weapon are a considerable distance from the suspect, the suspect will move to cover to prepare for an ambush. To demonstrate, here's a snippet of gameplay in Meth's attic section, utilizing these new ambush mechanics. While suspects did previously take cover, they lack the ability to utilize it in a truly realistic fashion. Now, there's a myriad of behaviors they can take advantage of to both outsmart and outlive the player. Shooting from cover is obviously a key component to the system, and the suspects will use it often, whether blind firing or peeking out to aim to engage SWAT. If certain conditions are met, like return fire or flanking, Suspects will acknowledge that, and plan their next move accordingly. Weak materials that bullets can easily pass through don't offer much protection during engagements, and suspects will avoid taking cover against these surfaces with that in mind. Whether equipped with a knife, a gun, or a bomb vest, cover is now a crucial staple in how AI can ambush the player. They don't just beeline towards a threat anymore, which makes engagements much more intense. Depending on certain enemy stimuli, suspects can manipulate how they take cover, notably by switching sides for improved positioning to best suit their needs. Slow walking is key, best not to get caught by a surprise attack. All this talk about hiding, which brings us to our next point. One of the main goals when creating Ready or Not was crafting a tense, foreboding atmosphere where every unchecked corner is a matter of life or death. With that in mind, we've given our AI the ability to hide in certain places, under beds, tables, and inside closets. Aggressive noises like gunshots and shouts can instigate the AI to move to these cover positions. If SWAT are in a room where a suspect is hiding, they'll wait until no one is looking to jump out and strike. However, certain conditions like compliance yelling, being stunned, damaged, or fired at, can cause the suspect to leave cover with a chance of surrendering. Find a suspect laying down in a room? You might want to keep your distance. He could be playing dead. If they're shot, close to a C2 door breach, or even just shot at, in certain situations, suspects can play dead to get the upper hand in a dire situation. Dead and ragdolled suspects can be arrested, however, so it doesn't feel like a cheap way of surprising the player. Similar to cover landmarks, AI will get up when no one is looking to surprise attack. 
but additional conditions can also cause them to exit, always leading to surrender. If the situation is at its most dire for suspects, and their morale drops to zero, there's a chance that they may commit suicide. Or fake suicide. Certain conditions, like yelling, stunning, or less lethal damage, can cancel a real or fake suicide attempt. That being said, yelling has a rare chance of cancelling, and stunning is the recommended method. Many of you pointed out that our suspects were standing or staring aimlessly between their patrols. By adding some animations and world interactions, we'll be able to provide context to their place in the level. Things like smoking, admiring a piece of art, or texting. These are all things that ground the AI in reality. Suspects even have to occasionally relieve themselves. Currently, hotel, port, and dealer all take advantage of these with all maps receiving this overhaul in a future update. By layering this with our narrative-driven level art, it'll definitely be some environmental storytelling that you'll notice. We're super excited to share these AI improvements with you soon, from improved melee and cover, to playing dead and world building, and look forward to sharing even more development details in the future. Put them on safe and let them hang. Until next time.